Hey, you know what? There's another name you might know me by. Star-Lord. Who? After the stellar reception of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, today we're taking a look at which Guardians could still return to the MCU. Peter Quill, aka Star-Lord, is the likeliest Guardians of the Galaxy member to make a comeback. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 literally ended with the text, The Legendary Star-Lord Will Return. Before this, Peter was shown coming home to Earth to spend time with his family. Everyone has a chance of showing up in Avengers Secret Wars in Phase 6, but all these clues could mean that Star-Lord might return earlier in Phase 5. Moreover, the word legendary and Volume 3 Star-Lord return tease could suggest that it's not Chris Pratt's Peter Quill who'll be coming back. As anyone who's followed the multiverse saga knows, there are previously unseen variants of MCU main characters who could soon join this universe. However, with most of the upcoming MCU movies and shows taking place on Earth, there's just as much room for the original Peter Quill to show up again. In fact, Pratt said he's open to reprising the role of Star-Lord. Meanwhile, Zoe Saldana previously said that she's done playing Gamora, who went off with the Ravagers to parts unknown. For now, no other cast members have spoken about their respective futures in the MCU. But what if the other Guardians? Drax and Nebula stayed on Nowhere, raising the children they rescued from the High Evolutionary. The severed head of an ancient Celestial, Nowhere, remains the Guardians' permanent headquarters, but it's also a mobile space station. Whenever the MCU takes the story to space, there's always a chance for Drax, Nebula, and their hyper-engineered orphans to reappear. The same could be true for Mantis, who went on a journey of self-discovery. The daughter of the Celestial Ego and half-sister of Peter Quill, Mantis could potentially still have a bright future in the MCU. Apart from being a force to be reckoned with, especially with the Abolist at her side, Mantis's empathic abilities allow her to fit seamlessly into almost any future MCU story. How about the new Guardians of the Galaxy team? Arguably, Rocket, Groot, Kraglin, Adam Warlock, his pet Blurp, Phyla, and Cosmo the Dog are even more likely to return than Star-Lord. Chosen by Quill to lead the new Guardians, Rocket wasted no time and dove right into his new duties, leading the team to their next mission. While Rocket may be the real protagonist of the Guardians franchise, the one with the most interesting future here is actually Phyla, whose name and powers are based on the Marvel Comics' Phyla Vell. One of the many super-powered kids and teens to join the MCU roster in recent years, Phyla could likely be a part of the MCU's future Young Avengers plans, as teased at the end of the Marvels. Phyla, you first. Um... Britney Spears and Corn. Thank you so much for tuning in to The Blurred Wire. Don't forget to leave your thoughts below, and thank you again for joining us. We'll see you next time.